Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Lee Blair, who's the Senior Vice President of Sales with Hospitality with Mohawk, and specifically with Durkin. Lee, how you doing? I'm doing well, Kemp. How are you? I'm good. Before we get into the details about the market and talk about the show that's coming up next week, give us a little background on you. You've, you've focused on this market for a while, haven't you? Uh, 20, 27 years, Kemp. Who were you with before you came to, to Mohawk? Well, I was with Milliken for uh, 19 years and uh, then left and, and spent a couple of years uh, recruiting into the market and then reentered uh, a couple of years after Milliken, been with Durkin and Mohawk now for right at eight years. Yeah. Well, I, wanted, I did want to talk to you because the HD show kicks off one week from today in Las Vegas. It's the big annual show that focuses on the hospitality market. The hospitality market is is many different facets, but it's it's primarily the lodgings business. Actually, to ask you a question, how much of it is lodging and how much of it goes into other areas, do you think? In camp, it's probably 90% lodging and yeah. you know, another 10% would be you know gaming, uh, theaters, restaurants, and some senior living mixed in as well. And the reason I wanted to talk to you is that most people know that Durkin, from a market share perspective, is the leader in this business. You guys have done real well over time. Let's talk real quickly just about the state of the lodging business. We actually in this issue that's going to be at the show, the floor focus issue, we've got a, a nice little update on the business. So we've just looked at it. We s- talked to those folks in Nashville, the Smith's research company, and they give us a lot of good information. Some of the information we heard, and you, maybe you can validate this, is that the, the market kind of peaked in, in value in 2008. It went through, thanks to this recession, a major drop and it's slowly coming back out. The room occupancy rate is trending up. It's up 4.4% to 60.1%, and it peaked in 2007 at 62.8%, so it hasn't recovered from the, the peak in 2007. They tell us that the room revenue is was up in 2011, 11.2%, but they're not expecting that trend to continue. Can you? Does that sound like it might be accurate? Yes, that's, that is accurate, Kim. That's exactly what we're hearing. So when you start thinking about flooring and lodging, it's primarily carpet, and it's primarily Broadloom, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. One of the things that is, I find very interesting in the lodging market, this 32-ounce spec is still holding. Most of these big properties still want a nice, plush carpet on the room floor, don't they? That is correct. In the rooms, that is primarily the standard. That's right. Yeah. And that, like you say, there are there are basically two sectors within lodging. There's the room carpet and there's the public space carpet area, right? Yeah. I mean, you really have two two areas of public space, Kemp, one being the quarters and then the other being, you know, pre-function ballroom and, uh, you know, con- even convention type facilities in your large uh, resort and destination hotels. Aren't you seeing a little bit of encroachment? Obviously, Mohawk's a huge company. You have different surface types, so, you know, maybe you can speak a little bit to this. You're seeing a little bit of encroachment around hard surface in some of the public space areas, aren't you? Well, certainly in lobby areas, in large open areas, uh, especially segue areas from uh, convention, from hotel Mm-hmm. You're seeing uh, certainly hard surface, and uh, it certainly has become the product of choice in a lot of the lobby areas. So, mm-hmm. yes. Okay. And do do you guys uh, bundle, or do you get uh, you know since you have Dale Tile and Unilin and all these different divisions, do, do, when you approach an owner, you guys kind of bundle your package? We network internally together, mm-hmm. and we're always looking for ways to do a better job of that. Yeah. Uh, but we do work in conjunction with each other. We just landed a major program where we worked all three together, which was you know, laminate, luxury vinyl, and dial tile, as well as our business, which is carpet. So that that's a priority for us. All right. So the HD show, again, starts next Tuesday, runs till Thursday. It's in Vegas every year, and there's really no other show like it when you start talking about the hospitality sector, is there? No, that it is the bellwether moment of the year for hospitality. That's correct. When you go to that show, there's that whole question around how much of what goes in is specified, how much of it is bought by these big property facility owners, that kind of thing. So, so who who attends the show? Who do you see at the show? Well, it's a mixed group. Certainly heavy on design as far as what the manufacturers are showing. So the show course is you know design is the word right after hospitality so it is a design related show as far as you're coming out you're showing what's new you're putting a face on for your company but the audience 
while it's uh, certainly you know has its share of designers from around the country, it's also heavily weighted on the uh, large brands, Hilton Intercontinental, Marriott, Hyatt, sending contingencies there to catch up on trends, as well as the key design individuals around the country and internationally uh, that that are the key players uh, in the design community. So, if I were to say a percentage. You're probably 60 design, 40 in use, so it's a it's a pretty good mix. Okay. Now, when you start thinking about all lodging, even you may have a U.S. and global picture, there's five or six major brands. Isn't that about right? That covers the large percentage of it. Well, certainly here in the states, mm-hmm. uh, when you get over, when you're overseas, you have some brands uh, such as Accor, which while they're here on the the lower end mm-hmm. of the uh, scale. They, you know, they play across a wide range around around the country, and then there's, you know, there's Malia Hotels out of Spain, and you have some others that are, that make the number more than five. You're probably more like eight or nine as you get outside of the states. But here, that's correct. Probably five would be your number. And let's just talk about you specifically for a minute. You're going to that show. When you walk into the show, it's still at the Sands. When you go in, surprisingly enough, many of the flooring companies are right up front. Talk a little bit about what you're going to be talking about this year. We are very, very excited about what we're showing this year. Our theme will be Think Durkin. Uh, it's a completely revamped space, so we've invested heavily into uh, into the actual space. We'll be talking about our 25 DPI printer that we've uh, made a huge investment in, as well as the investment that we've placed in our CYP uh, machinery. We've revamped all of those machines so a lot of it is talking about design. So it's Think Durkin, and there's three components underneath that, which are Think Design, Think Innovation, and also Think Global as we continue to grow our business outside of the states. Focusing on collaborations that we have with key designers like Stacy Garcia, Virginia Langley, Orrin Sherman, and Tracy Lee Stum, as well as our internal designers. So you're going to see a lot of just really knock-your-socks-off design and colors on the floor as well as on the walls. You mentioned that you you bought some new digital printing equipment for styling your carpet, and, and this actually is in addition. You ha- you already had two, and this one has even a higher resolution, doesn't it? That's correct. We were at 16 DPI previously, which is 256 pixels of die per inch. This is a 25, which takes us to 625. Uh, DPI, which is really like going from old television technology to high def. So the visuals that you see on the floor and on the walls are, will be stunning. It'll be just excellent clarity, depth of color, and we really see this investment is, is letting us take uh, some real significant market share uh, as we move forward. And the whole trick with this visual is to, to make it look like, almost like a woven, but you, with, with the processes you guys use, you're able to move this product a lot faster so that you can keep it at a competitive price and still kind of give that woven look, right? Well, that's true, Kemp. And you can also achieve visuals that you cannot with woven. So we can do some broad brush uh, type looks that uh, allow us to, to really take the technology and, and utilize it for looks that what we hope are things that have not been achieved. So we're looking to, to really think out of the box as well. Well, I hope you have a good show. Again, we've been talking to Lee Blair, who's Senior Vice President of Sales with Durkin Hospitality, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.